Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News analyst Emmanuel Efeni, the great Malabite. Good morning, Robert. Thank God it's Friday. Yes, good morning. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Good morning, good morning Rufai. Mm -hmm. We'll start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. We'll start with the story above the masthead. Tinubu to corporate Nigeria. I have no excuses to underperform. I campaigned for the job. Says government working to bring down inflation rate. Economy being charted to growth paths. Says, yeah, um, president yesterday at the IFTA with um, business leaders in the country yesterday reassuring uh, one and all that the program of the government to revamp the economy is well on course and that inflation will be brought down. Well, it has to be done quickly because many Nigerians are feeling the pinch. Only a couple of days ago, the puff puff, a popular eatery sold for 200 naira a couple of months ago, it's now 500 naira. That is for those who have the luxury of eating puff puff as a side attraction to the main meal. But seriously, the inflation is an issue. And um, until the government and uh, its officials are able to deal with that, I think Nigerians will continue to complain about what manner of progress is being made by the Tinubu administration in tackling economic issues. But the business leaders had the opportunity to also tell the president about some of their challenges. And of course, the president reassuring them that Nigeria will not fail. Countries have failed, but Nigeria will not fail under the watch of President Bola Metinubu. The next story there, Naira sustains gains, reaches 1,255 Naira to the dollar at official window, 1,245 Naira at parallel market. Landmark group begs federal government reroute 1.5 kilometer of 700 kilometer road to save tourism business. Well, the east-west coastline road that the president, Bola Metinubu, has committed to, where some houses, some property will have to go in the lucky Victoria Island axis. And the landmark event center, uh, well, seem to be on that pathway for that road construction. Well, they appeal that the road should be rerouted to save the tourism. Well, those who built, who give approval, should know because this project has been on the drawing board for a long time. Now, the lead story, National Electric Regulation Commission. Electricity tariff increase would reduce grid collapse and enhance supply. Senate vows to take action on power rates hike on resumption. Yes, um, mostly... Oseni, a couple of days ago, unveiled the new tariff, according to him, for band A consumers. The increase is astronomical by what stakeholders are saying, and um, a lot of objections and um, disagreements with the commission on this move. The Vanguard newspaper reporting tariff hike neck disagrees with discos over coverage area as federal government earns 137 billion naira from hike. NERC pegs forex at 1,463.3 to the dollar despite naira gains. New tariff not likely to affect manufacturers man is back door to general tariff hike consumers are saying why the nigerian tribune newspaper reporting that story 
Electricity Tariff, Senate to wade in as Northern Elders Forum knocks federal government. Consumer Protection Forum gives NEC 72 hours to reverse hike. Well, one story on the front page of the Vanguard we must also look at. Um, Okwama killings. Army recovers stolen weapons. Okwama killings. I think that's an update. And then, well, now that the Army has recovered the weapons, although the Chief of Defense Staff on this platform said the soldiers went there without arms, but again their arms were stolen. Some contradiction there. But, according to the Vanguard report, arms, Army recovers stolen weapons. Now, if we just look at uh, the Punch newspaper, 12 states plan pr projects. Anger spreads over tariff hike. States domesticate electricity act, seek neck approval to flow to regulatory bodies. Commercialize power. Kanu says power company 90% completed. Lagos, Nasara Kebi confirmed talks with private sector partners. Of course, a state like Edo State already has some power plant in place, uh, which is already servicing parts of the Edo State capital, Benin City, and environs. Now, another story on the front page of the Punch newspaper. EFCC stops service of charges on Binance chief. FIRS alleges. Another story there, Ghani Adams ready for Igbo's 500 million Naira legal battle aid. And uh, the Business Day newspaper, yes. We just take the lead story. Petro queues return as subsidy backlog stifles supply. Rufai, don't laugh over this story. Mm -hmm. Motorists in some parts of Lagos <laughs> have been facing a resurgence of petrol uh, queues on Thursday as the NMPCL struggled to meet national demand due to a backlog of unpaid, wait for it, subsidies. The NMPCL, which is the sole importer of petroleum to the country, has been reliant on government subsidies to keep pump price affordable. However, delayed outstanding payments by NMPC Trade Limited a subsidiary of NMPC uh, to international traders, including major Swiss trading company, Trafigura, PV Oil of Singapore, PTE Limited, and Mercuria Oil Major Total, as well as a large Nigerian traders, have created cash flow constraints. <laughs> well, so subsidy somewhere there. Rufa, I know you have something to say that, but let, but, but let us just run through other stories before you come in. Now, the Guardian newspaper, how hosting mega events failed to catalyze infrastructure development in Nigeria. Legacy of international tourneys were only in Nigeria. In other clients, when they host major events, it transformed the infrastructure in the hosting city or even the country at large, but not Nigeria, according to the story, the big story in the Guardian newspaper today. But another story, the front page of the Guardian newspaper, EFCC to arrain Bob Brisky for 180.7 million Naira uh, money laundering. Well, this fellow eventually make, made it to the front page of uh, some serious national newspaper. Of course, the Nigerian Tribune also has that story. But Brisky will be arraigned by EFCC for money laundering and, of course, bastardizing the Naira, spraying the Naira at different occasions. And, of course, about six count charge the EFCC, taking a certain Bob Brisky to court. I'm sure many will want to see the real person there. Now, the New Telegraph newspaper, Akpabio to Falana Ningi suspension, Senate's decision, not mine, says he only pronounced parliamentary resolution at the end of the debate and voting. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper, bandits kill seven, abduct 13 family members in Kaduna FCT, members in Kaduna FCT. Yes, releases 51 hostages 
After three weeks in captivity, military unveil identities of killed terrorist commanders. They must be proactive to end challenges experts. Another story on the front page of the Daily Trust. U.S. Muslim leaders reject iftar dinner with Biden as anger over Gaza persists. Now, the Daily Sun newspaper, defense headquarters confirm Minoc, other terrorist commanders' deaths. Troops killed 2,351 insurgents, arrest 2,308 others, rescue 1,241 hostages in three months. While the Guardian newspaper, I'll take you one foreign newspaper quickly, Biden demand Gaza ceasefire in strongest rebuke yet to Israel. U.S. says concrete step must be implemented to avoid harm. Ruben Rufai and Ayo. Well, unfortunately, we've run uh, out of time. But the gentleman you were, well, gentleman, uh, Bob yeah, Risky. Bob you Risky. mentioned Bob Risky. Yes, in the front page. His of name the is Idris Olarowaju uh, Okuneye. Okay, the fellow. That, that's the person. Uh, he or she, okay. you know. I don't know. He, he or she, he or fellow? she should be allowed to he enjoy she. his full rights under the law. He, he, he or she. No, 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 just say they should be allowed to enjoy the fellow. Yeah. The fellow. The fellow. The fellow. Okay, I see. Oh, yeah. She. All the yeah, controversies yeah. around him can be unveiled at the court. Oh, okay. It should be allowed to enjoy. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, Emmanuel. Yes. And that's all on today's edition of the Morning Show.